Now we will study if a dipole is placed in electric field, it experiences a torque. But this torque which has a relation, that torque is P multiplied by E multiplied by sine theta. This is a variable torque because theta may change. Even if P and E are not changing, theta is changing the torque will keep on changing. So today we will study what are the special conditions for the torque, how it changes in electric field. So this is a space in this, there is a uniform electric field in this direction. I will make only one vector electric field here. Then we keep a dipole here. The dipole has a dipole moment which is a vector quantity and I will mark it with red vector this is p at this time theta how i will write it p along e and in this case how much is theta theta is zero put zero here and torque will be zero so in this place torque is zero this is our special condition number one special condition number two this is electric field and now I rotate the dipole. The next position for the dipole is this. I have rotated it by an angle of 90 degree. So here theta is equal to 90 degree. How will I write it in text? P perpendicular to E. P perpendicular to E and now in place of theta place 90 degree sin 90 is equal to 1 and this torque is this torque is P into E this is torque P into E okay now again we rotate it we are rotating it in this direction anti-clockwise that is positive rotation rotate it more and we get the third condition third condition is now P is further rotated and it is directed in this way what is the angle theta now angle theta is now 180 degree now you put 180 here and sign 180 is again 0 so torque is 0 this is the third condition here now fourth condition fourth condition this is electric field rotate it further and this is this condition and this angle is now 270 degree 270 degree here torque sign 270 you know it is minus 1 so this is minus p e this is torque in this condition and again rotate it further and this will become 360 p will be in this direction and we come to number one situation again so here theta is equal to 0 and theta is equal to 360 so when theta is equal to 0 and 360 torque is 0 when it is 180 torque is 0 how we will write it p is opposite to E. So there are two conditions basically when torque is 0 is one condition when torque is equal to PE once it is plus PE once it is minus PE. Okay. So these are the four special conditions with this. Now what is the significance that torque is 0? When torque is 0 then any body is not able to move. This body is not able to move so we will say this condition is its neutral condition and because it is not able to move. In this case also it is not able to move. This is also a neutral condition. So both conditions there is a difference in these two conditions and that difference is very minute. And that is what you are supposed to understand. Okay. Out of these two conditions, the which are stable conditions, 
these two conditions are not stable condition because here torque is acting on it. If torque is acting on it, this will rotate. That means we cannot keep it in this condition. So this is a condition which is not stable. Not stable. This is a condition which is not stable. Here there is no torque, it will not move. So this is stable and this condition is stable. Now there are four conditions we have seen. In the two conditions there is no torque. If there is no torque then this will not be able to move. We leave it here, it will remain here like this. It will not move. I will say this condition that the dipole is in equilibrium. Equilibrium. Here again torque is zero. This condition is that dipole is in equilibrium. Here it is not in equilibrium. The moment I leave it from my hand it will rotate because there is a torque acting on it. So I will say not in equilibrium. This is again not in equilibrium. So these two conditions are there when it is along E or it is opposite to E. Dipole moment is opposite to E or along E. These two conditions are in equilibrium. But now we come to a very fine question which is asked in examination and most of the students are not able to reply to that. What is that question? That dipole in these two conditions, in both the condition torque is zero, in both these conditions it is in equilibrium but tell me which equilibrium is stable and which equilibrium is unstable. That is the difference between the two equilibrium. So, first thing a student should know what is a stable and what is unstable equilibrium. I tell you, this is dipole here, it is not rotating itself. I rotate it this way, I rotate it this way. What will happen? Okay, I tell you another example. This pen is in vertical condition. This pen is in vertical condition. This is not rotating and this is also not rotating. Now I do try to rotate it. I rotate it this way. Leave it. Comes back. Comes back. Comes back. Here it is in equilibrium condition that is this. Now I rotate it this way and leave it, it will not come back. Again, I rotate it in a particular direction. This is in equilibrium, neither rotating this way nor that way. I disturb the equilibrium and leave, it does not come back. So this is in equilibrium, this is in equilibrium because by itself it is not able to rotate. In this equilibrium, I disturb the equilibrium, it comes back. In this equilibrium, I disturb the equilibrium, it does not come back. So when it does not come back, I say this equilibrium was unstable. And this equilibrium, it is not rotating itself, I disturb this equilibrium and leave it, it comes back. When it comes back to its equilibrium position, I say this equilibrium is stable. So there are always two types of equilibriums, one stable and one unstable. We have to tell which one of them is stable. So we do it. Now when I rotate here, this is minus Q, this is plus Q, this is electric field, force act on it in this direction, force act on it in this direction. This is the dipole, these are the two forces rotated this way and it comes back to this position. Again rotate it this way, this is the force, this is the force, it comes back. So whenever I rotate and leave, 
it comes back to the original position. See here, this I rotate it, disturb it a little. I disturb it. Now, this is minus, this is plus, minus Q, plus Q. The direction of force on plus is in the direction of E. This is the force and this is the force. Now, this is your cycle handle, like a cycle handle, dipole. This force here, this force here. How it is going to rotate? Answer, this is going to rotate this way. This was the original situation. This was the original situation. I disturb it this way and I leave my hand. What I find? It rotate further, further, further and goes like this. It does not come back to this position. Therefore, this equilibrium is unstable equilibrium. So, these two are equilibrium conditions. This is stable equilibrium and that is unstable equilibrium. So that I will write here, stable and this is unstable, okay. So this you should remember, another example I gave you that if I push it here, this is the hanging point, this is stable and if this is resting point, it is put on a table. And now if I disturb it, it will not come back to its position. This equilibrium is unstable. Both are in equilibrium. This is hanging vertical. This is placed vertical. Both are vertical. Both are in equilibrium. This is stable because if I move it this way, it will come back. If I move it this way, it will not come back, it will go further. So this is unstable. So this remember always, whenever you have to test stable unstable, move it a little. If it comes back, it was stable. If it does not come back, it is not stable.